Remember the good old days of math in primary school where we learnt addition and subtraction? Greetings, it is I, the count. How has the standard changed since then? We pick three questions from primary three math assessment books and post them to adults on the streets. Questions like this one. Should be a breeze, right? Okay, I have no clue what this is. You need a PhD for this. My, my, my brain is not working yet. <laughs> One whole day I haven't sleep yet. I think that it's a very, um, very tough question. It's quite difficult, I would say. And uh, I don't think a P3 level uh, are able to answer this kind of question. It's really, really very, very tough. Very, very tough. Well, anyway, right, looking at this question, what level do you think it's from? Six? Primary six? I think it's primary six. Gosh, secondary four? Six four. Okay, this is actually from uh, primary three math book assessment book. So primary three students have to go through really? questions like this. Yes. Primary school math is not what it used to be. One concerned parent wrote into the newspapers to complain about the unrealistic standards. The parent wrote, I have yet to observe any beneficial effects of pushing children so hard in primary school, apart from high stress levels and sapping of intellectual curiosity. Besides removing the joy in learning, another side effect in today's education system is that my children hardly have time to enjoy childhood. Singaporeans responded to the letter, agreeing that the standards are too high, with one saying that the problem sums are tricky because they play around with English words and that primary school math should be about plus and minuses. Standard is very high and children are stressful. They complain, if, uh, especially my girls. Very stressful, they say. You can just imagine primary three is like this. You can just imagine if secondary school how it is. Yeah. Standard is very high. Yeah. Yeah. I have lots of my friends who left Singapore to migrate to overseas because of the standard of schooling here is a high. Right. Yeah. Recently, another, another one, one of my friends is going to Australia. She said, yeah. oh, can't can, can take it. You know, once you make learning difficult it, and you do take the fun out of it, then, you know, the children are not going to learn. And teachers are very important as well. You know, they've got to actually uh, uh, inspire new ones. They really need to go for tuition mathematics. And they really need to go higher and higher for mathematics, especially. However, some might argue that there is nothing wrong with setting a high standard. After all, the Singapore education system has been praised especially for this. In an article published in the Wall Street Journal last week, it was revealed that as scores for math assessment tests rises, so does economic growth. Comparing different countries around the world, Singapore and Taiwan were at the top. So perhaps having a high standard in math isn't such a bad thing. I think nowadays kids are more smart. I think they are smarter than those kids, you know, when we are last time. So I think they shouldn't be having a problem doing these questions. So. <laughs> kids are smarter than, I think, this kind of questions. I think it's vital for, for a better future for Singapore if this standard is introduced in Singapore. Yeah, Because nowadays kids is um, quite smart. Uh. As in, we are living in a technology-advancing world that um, even a kid know how to use a, a kid of a kindergarten can able to use an iPod and this kind of uh, technology. I don't think this kind of uh, simple questions uh, will um, be difficult for this nowadays, uh, this kind of kid. So, yeah. In the next clip, a primary three pupil shows us how to solve the math problem that stumped the adults. Math is a really cool thing So get off your athletes, do some math Math, 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 math